on the table. I've got myself an MSI laptop, which is a CX62, as you can see here, or hopefully. And this particular one, the current idea that, I, well, the current plan with this one, I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver and open it up. And then from there, I'm going to replace the standard Western Digital hard drive in there which is a one terabyte WD blue, I believe, running at 7200 RPM. And that's going to be changed over to a WD green 480 gig SATA SSD, which being this is an i5 with DDR4, I think this one's got eight gig of DDR4. Replacing that hard drive is definitely going to yield a great improvement of usability on this machine. So as I've said, I've taken out all the various Phillips head screws here. Also, one thing to note, where well, you can see the sticker that says two year, or I believe that's two year warranty. Just above that, there's also a hidden screw, which I'll find in just a moment, that it's a hidden Phillips head screw that you have to push through the warranty void sticker. Now, these warranty void stickers, I believe, I know in Australia, possibly the US, a few other different places, these stickers are absolutely meaningless nowadays. So opening your machine to replace the SSD or replace the hard drive does not void your warranty. Another thing to note here, underneath the DVD-ROM burner, there is two small Phillips head screws. So I've had to get my smaller screwdriver to be able to get these ones out. Now back to the warranty side of things. So I know over here in Australia that those warranty void stickers, if you open up your machine to replace the hard drive and the screen fails, yet they open it up, they look at the warranty void sticker and say, oh no, you've opened it, too bad. That is not the case. You can still challenge that. So for instance, if since I've opened this machine up to replace the hard drive in it, let's say the keyboard fails in six months time, that warranty void sticker is, is meaningless here. So you could still push for your warranty claim to go through if something does fail. But anyway, as in this video, I'm yet to discover the Phillips, uh, the warranty screw, which also with this, I'd, when opening it, I'd work from the DVD-ROM side just because there's less I.O. that you can hit as you're trying to take the cover off versus the other side of the laptop that has quite a few components, headphone jack, USB, etc. Anyway, I'll keep going. Now I discovered that hidden Phillips head warranty sticker. Tried scraping it away. It wouldn't lift up. It just disintegrates. So there's no point being delicate with it. Bam, we're into the machine from here. So we do have one M.2 slot on this board. And we've also got the SATA hard drive. So I'm going to ignore the M.2 just because I don't have any of those on hand and I will be putting in a, just a WD green which you'll see in just a minute. We need to use a small Phillips head screwdriver to take out these two screws. They look to be identical to the three screws that got taken out near the DVD ROM when you're taking the back cover off. And from there you should be able to lift it slightly, wiggle it and you're in. So yeah, big fat slow. WD blue. So I've proceeded for now just to swap over those drives.
WD green that I'll be putting in. One thing I have done in during this video is I've used a Cronus True image to clone the hard drive. I connect, took out the other hard drive internally, connected it up to a different computer and ran the software. But I did find when I connected it back up, it wouldn't boot properly. So what I did from there was I made a live boot CD of the Cronus True image with the SSD installed as I'm doing right now. And I connected the old hard drive via a USB 3 enclosure. And from there I was able to clone from the old hard drive onto the new SSD which was already installed. And from there it booted up perfectly fine and was running considerably better. So I'm about done talking for this video. Not much more to say. And I'll proceed with the reinstall, but it will be in silence. So hopefully this video has helped you update or upgrade your CX62 laptop. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.